Some people have asked me why there are no numbers on our website, at least no financial numbers. There are just ranks on our websites. You will not find a sales growth of maybe 12%, a return on investment of 8%, or any number like that. The only thing that you find are ranks. How good is the company in terms uh, for that um, key performance indicator ranked against its peers? That's what we put on our websites. There is one uh, major reason for that and another high convenience. The reason is, first of all, the ranks say the same, but in a much easier way. Every rank has the same scale from 0 to 100. Financial numbers don't have that advantage. Sales growth may be good at 10%, a return on investment may already be good at 5%. Capital turns on the other uh, side, you know, how many times uh, your sales is your invested capital, maybe three or four. So these are all numbers that cannot be directly compared to each other. Ranks can. So you have to learn a lot less. But also important, ranks contain more information than the absolute number itself. I'll give you an example. Let's say the market grew by 10% and you grew by 15%. Was that good? Yes, you would say it's above average. But in a market where all other companies grow between 5 and 15%, 15% is extremely well, while in another market where companies grow between 5 and maybe 30%, or let's make it easier, between 0 and 20%, 15% is not as good as in that other market where 15% is the best performance. The rank will really give you that information. The higher the rank, the better the peer ranked in the universe. And you can also know if the number that is underlying our ranking methodology is really good or just a little bit better than average or below average. So it's much easier to interpret and it doesn't give you an opportunity to misinterpret the numbers. And there is a convenience. It's the second reason why we use ranks. The convenience is they are, you can filter by ranks, you can rank by ranks, which you cannot by other numbers, and you can combine ranks to form new ranks. This is all not possible with financial numbers. And that convenience allows us to quickly identify the best performance performers in any, any given segment for any given uh, financial number, uh, for any given uh, key performance indicators. This is why we use ranks instead of numbers. If you want to know more about that, I've done another video that is called Numbers Lie. It shows you that if you have absolute numbers, real numbers, instead of ranks, you can come to completely wrong conclusions, actually. You don't, uh, you don't just know less, you know the wrong thing. Maybe you want to have a look at that video, too.